In this video, we are going to expose an endpoint on a custom communication scenario. This endpoint it is related with a CBO, a custom business object that we have created in other sessions. In the description, you can have the links with all the videos related on this part. So we have the custom business object that we have created. With the general information, we can see the nodes with all the operation create, update, and delete, and also read. Automatically, it is assigned. On the fields, we have two fields, environment and URL, with the first one as part of the key property. On this custom business object, we also have created the communication arrangements with the communication system, and also related with the corresponding scenario ID or the custom communication scenario that we have mapped for this object. And in here, we can see this uh, custom communication scenario with the same name as the communication arrangement. The idea is to add an endpoint on this part so we can consume it from the postman, from a different client, an external client from the SAP public instance. First, we will go to the edit option of this uh, custom communication scenario. After that, we can go to add, to add an object. Uh, if the add option, it is not available, we can go with the revoke to unpublish this object. Since it is available, we can use this add option. Once we have created the custom business object, also automatically a CDS was created. We can copy this name and go back to the custom communication scenario to add it. In here, we can see that it is not available, even if I'm pressing edit. That's why we will use uh, revoke. We will just uh, confirm the revoke. In that case, the status, it is changed to not published. And now, now we can press the add button. This behavior depends on some systems. Normally, we should uh, have the possibility to add it uh, even if it is not revoked. So now we can filter with that custom business object. We can see that uh, a CDS was generated automatically with the activation of that custom business object. We can add it as an endpoint. We can select it and we will see it available and the inbound service. Now we will save the custom communication scenario and we will try to publish this object. It will take some time. Now it is on the status publishing and also we can display the publishing process. On the display, we can see that now it is on the release. Soon it will start the publishing process. Also, we can see the object that is related, this communication scenario for our object. And we can take the advantage of this time that it is needed for the publishing of the object. We will take care of the endpoint that we will need to add in Postman in order to make some calls to this endpoint. So first uh, we will see the details. In this case, the details are not shown since the object it is not published. We will just wait for publishing the object. We can see the communication scenario ID that we have in here and also the inbound for this uh, CDS view. Once we can press it here, we see that this behavior of the flexible custom layout of this application, it is taking place. So we will just go back to our object because now we are on the display application. We can go back to reach the object that we had on the custom communication scenario. Now we are back waiting for the publishing. And also if we will display again, we will see that the object it is still on the release uh, state so we will wait for this publishing and in postman what i have added it is the endpoint that will be generated it is uh, first the based url and after that the relative url following by the cds name that it is the service name in here we will have the entity that it is related with this custom business object with the general information for the user interface and backend service also, we will have a user interface that we can use to add data to this object inside of the S4 uh, public instance. The idea it is also to use that backend service uh, through uh, the call that we will make from the postman when the object it will be published. So I will just uh, speed up the video waiting for this publishing and we will continue. 
So now we are back with the object published. We can see that the custom communication scenario is published with this inbound service that is related with the custom business object. We will need to navigate to the communication arrangements uh, even from this object or from the corresponding application to uh, see the endpoints because it is the communication arrangements that will have the endpoint. This is the endpoint that can be used from the backend. And also, if we will go to the custom business object, we can see that now we have the go to uh, generated user interface because we also have activated the feature for the user interface. If we will navigate to this URL, go to the generated user interface, we have the possibility from the S4 uh, to create, delete, or to modify or even with Go to read the data that it is stored on this custom business object. But first, let's see what are the operations that were activated at the node level. We have everything active. When we will go to the environment URL, that is the name of the custom business object, if we will try to get the data with the read operation with the Go option, we will see that we do not have authorizations. Why? because even from the postman now we can trigger a call to the service the service will return in the body what will be uh, the entity the entity it is related with the custom business object if we will add this custom business object on the url as the entity and we will get the same error because we do not have authorization for this object why because on the custom communication arrangements in here, we will need to add the user that it will be used to access and also supported communication method. We can see that we have all those free options available. So now we will try to save and to leave the communication arrangements with the inbound communication. And also on the custom business object, we will edit the object to uh, enable the data access management so we will enable this part we will publish this custom business object and after that after this object it will be published we will try uh, based on the communication arrangements that we have with the display we can see also that on this system on the bottom we also have that communication arrangements that it is set up and after this custom business object, it will be published. We will try to make another call to this API and also from the generated user interface. We will just hit go. We still have the same issue with this authorization. And now from Postman, if we will try to make another call, we will see on the response that we have the object with those fields that were added. And one uh, entry, because before this video I have added one entry that can be seen together with all the data that was activated as the features for the lifecycle status, who created this entry, by what user, in what date, and everything should be here available because we have activated on the custom business object all these features. So now together with uh, the communication arrangement we have the endpoint and we can make external calls to our api that it is published on an sap s4 public instance 